Police arrested 22-year-old Cedric McGinnis Jr. Cynthia Serrano, seen here, she was found stabbed to death in her bed. Kathy DeLeon was found shot on the family room couch, and April found shot lying on the family room floor. That must have been quite the scare. It was. I'm so relieved. She's my whole world. You need a man. That'll help you relax. Yeah, if you'd like to join us, it's okay with me. You've been unconscious for a few days. There was an accident, do you remember that? Can you tell us your name? It's, it's... I need you out as soon as possible, like tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's not nearly enough time for me to find a place. I mean, there's always trends. I bet he has a nice house. Yeah, but living together, he'll never go for that. My family's been here for seven generations. I'm the last one. You followed me here. No, I didn't. You are the one who's been harassing me. He is twisting this around. Okay, I recommend you say nothing further. <laughs> Think you can take me on and win? Be that way. I am over it. I am over you. But I don't buy your act. I have it since day one. Just because you have a personal problem with me doesn't mean that I would kill Trent. You did it to shut down the complaint. The suspect's name is Christopher McEwen. And they found the body of 21-year-old Janice Shearer in McEwen's pickup truck. Inside the house, they discovered one of the victim's ears in a pot. Linda, who works for the Hughes Sanitation Department, failed to appear in court on assault charges and is certain her mom was taken against her will to Linda's house where she was found dead. Alina Shaykett and Darby met at the University of Pittsburgh Greensburg campus where both were students and Darby was on the basketball team. Darby was arrested on rape and other charges. Shaykett's body was found lying on the floor of her Oakland apartment by her parents. She died of a blow to the head. 34-year-old Cornell Myers is charged with murder and first-degree burglary. Police say he murdered Danielle Faschioko, who was found dead in her Middletown apartment. Police arrested Cornell the next day after he called police to report the victim, who he said was his girlfriend, was not breathing. 